Hi, I'm David Sha. Uh, the full name is Ye Liang Sha. I used to teach in Peking University, Beijing. And now the, I'm the scholar at uh, Washington DC area doing uh, policy research and writing my own books. And I have the, met a good guy, friend, uh, Jimmy J. Park. He's a, a Korean American. Uh, I found that this guy is very hard working and he probably is doing his uh, uh, improvement or advancement of the professional skill. So I'm very interested in his uh, learning and his uh, hard working. Um, so I, I wish he can introduce something and have more people to learn how to improve your professional skills in the future. Hi, my name is Jay Park. I'm from Philly, PA. Uh, David asked me to be on this uh, video. Uh, currently enrolled in, actually graduated Coding Dojo, which is located in um, Clean, um, Washington, D.C. And uh, Dave was very interested, and so he wanted to ask me some questions. Yeah, the how, how did you start to uh, think about to have to learn some new skills or new programs? Well, I started on my own online. I was interested in, in coding. So I found some free resources online like codeacademy.com and there was free codecamp.com. Uh, and I tried out uh, Code Academy for about a year. Uh, I think I liked it. I completed HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. But at the rate I was going, it was going too slow. So I looked into boot camps where they super accelerate your program. Yeah, nowadays many people feel uh, they are quite limited with their uh, office uh, working skills. Uh, some people may, might understand some language, the computer language, but most of people, they probably they, they don't have the much foundation of that. So there are some people feel, oh, it's hard since we are we're not teenagers, uh, we are adults. Uh, I'm above the middle age, it might be so difficult for me to learn new things. So with your example, I think more and more people might have a try, good try, uh, because uh, anytime you can learn new things. Yes, yeah, so you could definitely try. Um, this was a super accelerated program. Um, it is called a bootcamp for a reason. They just pump you with information and assignments and homework and you, know, you really have to put your, all your time into it. You pretty much have to quit your life for three or four months and you have to accept that you're going to be learning for you know, three or four months. It's full immersion, so it's really intense. Yes, it, it is it's quite the experience to learn so many new uh, computer languages in such a short amount of time. So you do have to make a commitment. Um, it does cost you a lot of money because not only the admission that it costs you, but the time that you're not working. Yeah, not only money, it's much time and uh, I understand uh, you probably work the more than 8 hours per day and sometimes it's uh, 12 hours? Uh, 8 to 12 to 14. Sometimes I would get there uh, at the location at 8 o'clock in the morning. Sometimes I would leave at 7 or 8. Sometimes I would leave at 12 midnight. Yeah, just curious to know that how can you memorize so much uh, computer language which is uh, so abstract and so hard to remember remember I'm not sure if I remember everything uh, I remember a lot uh, there's the platform that we learn off of we actually have that open so if we need to go back and kind of refresh we can go back because we do um, some language we focus on some languages for about three four weeks then we do another three four weeks on a different language so we kind of forget some of those other languages so you do have to kind of go back and refresh yourself it's so it's all up to you. Yeah. yeah. Um, just, uh, I'm interested in new things, but I don't know there are what those programs for. With these skills, new skills, what kind of products or what kind of service can provide? These are brand new skills for me because I came from dentistry, um, um, hotel restaurant management. Um, what you can apply to the real world is actually making uh, websites. So when you're completed this program, you're considered a full stack developer. And what you can do, you can build uh, web applications. Um, you can build a website from the beginning to the end. You know, the front end, 
Um, in the back end, you work with frameworks, you work with uh, databases. So you can actually do a lot. Um, you can build you know, Twitter, you can build Facebook, you can build a lot of different things. I'm not quite there yet, but I'm slowly building up to it. Yeah, the, just now, um, I think there are so many uh, websites and also there are fun, some of the very good APP that can be used uh, with these new skills, right? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, like uh, Airbnb and uh, Uber and all yeah. those things. So the, it is good to start uh, like a, a teenager's uh, age. I mean, the, if they start, the earlier the better. All absolutely, absolutely. Um, I have two children and I actually started them on Code Academy about two years ago and they're now 14 and 16 years old. So they kind of know a little bit of HTML and CSS just to get their feet wet, just to kind of know what's out there. And it's up to them if they really want to pursue it. Wow, that's yeah. admirable. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. And also, uh, given you work so long per day, mm -hmm. it seems uh, it's just like a monk. That you yeah. don't have much time for your ent entertainment, yeah. your uh, other, I mean, the lifetime. The, 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 uh, is it uh, possible for uh, if this uh, it's kind of necessity to change jobs? Uh, otherwise, it's so hard for people to focus fully on this kind of learning. Yeah, it's definitely a commitment. I mean, uh, I didn't want to change my life, but I didn't want to commit to four or five years of schooling. Um, so there was a drastic change. Yeah, I did have to think about it for a long time. I talked to family and friends. Uh, their opinions, so with everybody's opinions, they decided just to go for it, and it is all day. Uh, I do have to drop everything, you know, I'm there for education. Yeah, do you think it's a worthwhile? Absolutely, I learned a lot, it's fun. Yeah. It's rewarding at the end that you actually build something and actually deploy it, and you can see it online for the world to see, yeah, absolutely. Now you have kind of uh, satisfaction with your uh, achievements, right? Oh yeah, absolutely. Yeah. 100%. Uh, I don't regret ever going to this place, even though I don't have a good job doing this, but yeah, absolutely. What would you like to share with your own experience? Uh, what people should pay much more attention on the very beginning or initial stage of learning? Initial stage of learning. Um, uh, definitely think about what you want to do if you actually do it. Find resources online uh, that are free or available to you. and. Um, see if you can actually um, dive into it a little bit, just get a little taste of it. Um, try to, hmm, I'll get some free access online to actually be able, be able to try it out and see it actually it works for me. And it did. And um, yeah, it ended up working out. Just keep researching online. There's lots of information out there um, if you want to start learning. Um, I mean, I had to talk to my brother and my, my friends and family and see what they thought of it and see if they knew anyone else into it. So you have to do your own research and you know, decide whether you commit to change or not. Do you worry about sometime in the future, you probably you would uh, forget what you learn. Because uh, if you don't practice every day, mm -hmm. you have mm -hmm. learned uh, how, much, how many, it's about uh, 12 computer languages. Mm -hmm. it's, uh, if they've given a long term, how can you manage to keep those knowledge? I don't think I'm going to keep the knowledge. Uh, I'll be able to retain to it uh, through all the resources and the sort of resources that the school gave me. Um, I can just go back to uh, my notes, my assignments, my uh, all my readings that I've done uh, throughout this whole entire process. There's a bunch of different tabs we actually just kind of bookmarked if I need to and you can't memorize everything. It's just impossible. Now, what the school does, it just kind of gives you a glimpse of every stack, like Python, Ruby, and Meme. And for me, it's impossible to remember anything, and it'll learn more on job. But once I get a job, they're going to be more focused on one of those stacks. So the other two will probably have to get about, probably. Yeah, nowadays is knowledge uh, are changeable, and, uh, I mean, updated very quickly. Mm -hmm. So there are I'm sure there's more and more different languages, uh -huh. different skills appear. Uh -huh. um, so, how can you uh, 
managed to catch up the new trend? Well, that was one of the discussions I had at the school is that there is about 300 computer languages out there. We're only learning, you know, a very small percentage and that, you know, they give us comments that you can learn other languages. You can do it. You got to put in the time. Um, you got to find the resources. And one of the things they taught us is to be a self-sufficient developer um, and team. Uh, I couldn't make it without my team, uh, the people I worked with next to. Um, and they got me through it. Uh, we worked together. Uh, we were, we saw problems out. Um, but yeah. Uh, do you have a kind of a uh, co? Uh, I mean, co-workers or team or colleagues to work uh, with. Yes, we have. We're in a cohort, meaning it's just like you know, a group of students. So every few weeks, a new group comes in. And my group, we had about 13. And by the time I graduated, we had about seven. So it, it, it's definitely tough. It's definitely straining, uh, straining on if, if you have family, uh, definitely straining if you have any loved ones at home. Uh, but it's a full commitment. And you know, the group that I am, I'm in, if they become your family and friends. In your institution, I uh, understand some students might drop out uh, yep. if they cannot complete uh, their, their training task. Mm -hmm. Well, this particular uh, institution, uh, they don't kick people out. And they'll try to help you as much as they can, but they don't slow things up. You're allowed to repeat a program, one particular program, once. And if not, then actually, I don't think it's going to work out after that. Wow. Yeah. So you were judged by yourself. Yeah, yeah. Um, you're given a whole bunch of tasks to do on assignments and you're expected to complete them. They don't really correct them. It's entirely up to you whether you think it's gonna okay to let it go or you want to actually go ahead and fix everything, make sure everything works. So it's, it's your, own, uh, your own interest, best interest to actually see it all the way through and do the 100 percent and make sure it's complete before moving on don't cheat you know nobody's nobody's watching over your shoulder to see if you're cheating or not they don't care and they just want you to to learn by yourself um it's entirely up to you you're paying for this uh, mm -hmm. this education so um i have a drive to do something better you know my my drive is my kids um i have two kids so i want to provide a better life and this is why i want to drastic change quickly so I can provide them a better life, you know, later on. Hmm. Um, is there in, any uh, opportunity to repeat or uh, to have the, the kind of course again uh, if you fail in the kind of things, uh, if you cannot, uh, I'm not sure, uh, is there any opportunity for you to improve uh, if you fail, if you cannot or miss, miss one course? Um, if you do not pass, they have an exam at the very end of each stack. If you do not pass, um, you're given, you know, maybe nine tries, and then the and the next cohort moves on. And if you can't move on by the next time, you can repeat that uh, at least one time. And after that, they won't let you repeat. Um, there's no real fail. Uh, some people don't take the exam and still move on to the next stack. If they can't pass that one, they'll do the best they can. Um, I mean, they don't recommend it, but they won't force you out. But, you know, if, if you can't get it uh, at that point, you might want to reconsider what you want to do or look at other avenues to learn at a slower pace because uh, it's super accelerating. It's super accelerating. It's very difficult. I had a tough time the entire time, but they want you to struggle. You know, if you're having a problem, they don't give you the answers. You have to figure it out. Uh, they want you to be a self-sufficient developer. As a self-sufficient developer, you have to look for the answers online. You have to look to your teammates to say, hey, I'm working on a problem. I can't seem to get it. You know, have you any success? Um, that kind of gives us a teamwork environment, like in the real world, uh, not necessarily cheating, but it's like in helping each other out. He might have a problem that I might go fix in just a few minutes. Do your family members uh, fully support you and understand what you're doing? Absolutely, 100%. Uh, I talked to my mother first, of course, and I talked to my, both my brothers. My one brother is retired, and my other one has been in the 
IT industry for you know, 20 years. So he understands how difficult it was and that there's a great risk of, you know, there's a possible failure. Um, there's a great risk, risk that you might not be accepted. Some of these boot camps are extremely hard to get into. I was very fortunate to find this one. It was actually, they accepted me and I was able to go through this process and it was a great, great experience. Okay. Thank you so much for Absolutely. sharing. Absolutely.